things you'll need are substrate and uh, probably sand as well. But I'm using this stuff called Eco Earth. Um, it's actually a really great substrate, uh, but all different substrates are different. You'll need to read instructions on how to moisturize them, uh, depending on the brand. But then you're going to need uh, some huts, some uh, shells, so when they molt, Uh, they have some bigger shells that they can go into. Uh, heat lamp or heat pads or both. Uh, heat bowl for heat lamp. Um, this is optional but a climbing pad for hermit crabs. Uh, I'm probably just going to use this as a cover for the heat lamp because this lamp apparently gets hot. Three bowls. Um, excess rock so they can climb on, a green plant they can hide behind, or again climb on, sticks, climb on, uh, two sponges, one for fresh water, one for salt water. Um, these are so they don't drown in the water because this is my salt water bowl um, and it's fairly deep, it's about one inch deep and my crabs aren't that big. Uh, this is a fresh water, fresh can uh, be smaller than the salt water or it can be bigger, doesn't matter, but it's best to have two decently large bowls for uh, water and then a medium to small bowl for crab for food, uh, depending on the size of your crabs. Mine, they're about uh, excuse me, about three of them are this big, um, and one is this big, ish. Um, it's best to have one gallon of a tank, um, per one crab, so since I have four, the minimum size tank that I would need is a four gallon tank, but this is a 20 gallon or 60 gallon uh, terrarium tank, and they have to be terrarium tanks, but you also need a thermometer and humidity gauge for gauging the temperature of the tank and seeing the humidity, the humidity level. Uh, they usually live in a uh, very very humid environment so like a tropical environment but uh, so it's gonna need the substrate's gonna need to be really really moist and humid all the time but you're also gonna need um, heat pads with or without the heat lamp um, and there's different heat pads different heat lamps for different things but then I have the Hermes. They're a little shy. This is a crappy tank to hold them in. Never have your crabs in this size of tank permanently. But you can see one of them's out right now. Um, oh, there's two. Yeah. I'm gonna be pulling them out one at a time to put them into the tank later. But, yeah, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is put some sort of towel underneath the tank because uh, when you're refilling or just replacing stuff, it can over, well, you can uh, miss the tank and it could spill on here. But uh, after you have a mat there, you're going to want to place the tank wherever it's going to be. Um, and once you put the tank there, it's best you don't ever move the tank again unless you take your animals out of the tank. Um, sorry if the lighting's kind of poor, I can't really change the lighting of my room. But the first thing you're going to want to do is put some substrate in 
and I have some of that already ready. Um, so I'm gonna put that in and then uh, go from there. Substrate can be put wherever. I just have some here. Uh, I'm gonna get more soon, but for now. You just put it in, make it even. It's best if you have one area for them to molt and then uh, one area for water, food, and stuff like that. It's best if you have the food on one side of the tank and then water on the other side. But the, the layout of the tank that I want it to have can't do that, so I'm gonna have one water bowl next to another, well, next to the food bowl and then the other on the other side of the tank. But yeah, I'm gonna have this area raised about to there probably, and then this area just barely higher than this. Actually, no. I'm gonna make it all one size right now, and then uh, move stuff around from there. Make sure you fill up the bowls. Excuse me. After you uh, have uh, put everything in, um, otherwise they're gonna get substrate inside of them. So for these, I'm just gonna clear a little spot in the corner. sticks holding it up right here because then the light's gonna go like right there somewhere or right there it's best to have the light somewhere away from the water dishes because it's gonna evaporate and if you have an open 
lid, like an open, open mesh lid like this, it's just going to evaporate out and into the room. So I'm probably going to put some sort of cover over this mesh in some areas to keep it in. But yeah, now to dig all that back out and put this in. because then they have more uh, coverage than the other hut that I have. So I'm just going to put this somewhere back there um, and then put the green plant like, come on, right here but inside of there. Try to keep the substrate as loose as possible because then the hermit crabs can dig inside of the substrate better. Now my green plant. Yaw. Sorry, that was really weird. I'm trying to figure out geez, what I'm going to do. They're going to molt in the higher area, so you're going to want more of where the hut is because that's where they feel most, most secure. So in the hut area, uh, just around there, just like that. Now for rocks. Rocks can literally be placed anywhere in the cage. I'm going to make like a little hut-ish type thing right there. Uh, so that they can go in that if they want, or I'm probably going to move the green plant a little more and then build the hut like right here. I don't know yet. I'll figure it out. I also forgot to say, uh, depending on the depth in your water bowl, you're going to want a rock so that they can climb in and out easier with. So I have a few small ones here that I'm trying to debate which ones I want to use. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Now that it's really dark in there now, I'm not going to use this light anymore, so I'm just going to put it over here for now. Uh, but now, the shells. Um, and when I got these shells, I did a special boil cleaning for them. Uh, you're supposed to boil clean them whenever you get new anything, but uh, since I'm recording this video when I... Um, when I'm doing a uh, substrate change, which you're supposed to do every six months-ish, unless the 
uh, substrate has a foul odor. Uh, so, yeah, since I'm doing it now, after six months, uh, I probably need to clean them again, but I'm not gonna, because I'm too lazy. But, uh, yeah, I just have a few different sizes of shells everywhere so that your crabs can have a different variety. And then just add decorations wherever you want. Okay, and the sponges. This is a salt water one. Freshwater one. Okay. And now we put the lid on and plug in the heat lamp or heat pads, whichever one it is. And then we see what it looks like. See? Here's the key. The uh, habitat. Yeah, it's a bit dark in there, but it works. They like shaded areas. If it gets too hot, they go in the shade. If it's too cold, they go in the sun. Stuff like that. I've made a huge mess. This is why I have the towel here. And now, we take the Hermes. I would recommend getting one that has a switch if you're going to get a lamp because then it's a lot easier and then uh, I just put the lamp and heat pads on a timer so that they turn off at different times and turn on at different times. But when picking up hermit crabs, always pick them up from uh, come on, the point of the shell and just above the bridge of the shell because then that's the most secure and safe way to hold them. Oh, look at that one. He's a really active one. Yeah, just like this. Don't be afraid to get your hands around them. Just like that. I should probably add some water and food. Just like that. And then, ooh, that guy flipped. Always use RO water, never tap, if you're making your own uh, hermit crab water. Because then, uh, oh, that one might actually be old. Uh, and then, I use a hermit crab variety diet. It has dried river shrimp, um, ground corn, soybean, and just a bunch of other stuff. And then I mixed in a separate food, which was the hermit crab fruit salad, which is just uh, dried apples, dried cranberries, and dehydrated mango. And so I just added this to the food. It's always good to have some sort of fruit with the food. So I have this, and then the hermit crab diet stuff, and then if you're making your own dechlorinated water, uh, I just use Appy Quick Start for aquariums, and then add very little dechlorinator to the water. So 
sometimes I add a little too much. Good. And then you just stir that around. I would recommend getting some syringes as well, disposable syringes, and then just switch it out every month. Oh, my tank is really dirty. And just squeeze it into the uh, into the bowl. And once you have your fresh water full and you still have extra water, which I would recommend getting extra water uh, when you get the fresh water. Uh, I just have some aquarium salt uh, that I use and then I use like two to three salt flakes and then salt pellet, excuse me, salt pellets. Um, but then same thing, just stir it around inside the dechlorinated water as well, because if you have too much chlorine in the water, then uh, it can be harmful, but if you uh, have too much salt, it can also be harmful. So, yeah. And since that bowl is a lot bigger, I usually just take it and just dump it in. And then just put the lid on. Put the light over it. Bada bing, bada boom. Somewhat happy cubbies. Sorry, the cage is really dirty. The tank. They are nocturnal, so they will be rustling at night. Uh, they're all wild caught, like they're all caught in nature. Um, they uh, they don't have ears. Uh, they have specialized gills to help breathe out and in water. So technically, one of those can fall into that and just be perfectly fine. Um, but, uh, what else? Uh, I would recommend having a spare cage like I have right here. Um, don't have mulch in here 24 seven like I have right here. I'm gonna empty this into here soon, um, but then um, uh, it's good to have a spare cage for when you're changing out the substrate or just cleaning the stuff, then you can actually have the crabs safe somewhere else while you clean the tank and not have them be in there. Um, and if you're cleaning the tank and you find one of the crabs underground, stop what you're doing, put everything back and just leave them alone because they're molting 